Hey, we all look for fulfillment in different things. We look for fulfillment in our work, in our relationship, in different public causes, in, in our entertainment, in the sports that we play, right? So different things we, we look for fulfillment for our lives, our personal lives, right? We somehow think that, okay, our life will be fulfilled when we achieve the greatest heights in our career or in our relationships or in the sports that we perceive or, or pursue or probably the entertainment or whatever field you're at, you look at fulfillment at that level, right? But you know what, dear friends? All of these fulfillment are activity based, are, are based on what you can do, right? The question I want to bring to you is what if when you are not able to do those activities? Now, the question is what about people who do not have all the uh, opportunities that you have? There are so many people who do not have those opportunities. Like example, if, if somebody wants to be a great sportsman and if they don't have one of their limb, they, the thing is they do not have the opportunity for fulfillment, right? But dear friends, I want to bring to you a thought that fulfillment is not found in activities or in, in a lot of work, right? Fulfillment, according to the Bible, is found in rest. Think about the word rest. What, how it feels to rest. Think about, uh, imagine you, you've gone for a, a, a good run and then you come back home and then you sit in the sofa. You feel like, wow, I feel rest. Think about walking in a hot sun and then you come back to your house or stand in a shade and drink a glass of cold water. You feel rest. So there are different aspects, even in marriage. When two people come together in marriage and exchange their vows of uh, promising to be with, the, with each other, right? They come together to rest in this relationship. So all of these aspects, dear friends, we find rest, right? Sometimes the greatest fulfillments are found not in activities, but in complete rest, right? So the fulfillment that the Bible is talking about is found in the rest. And you know what the other word for rest is? The name Jesus. You know, in the Bible, Jesus is called the rest. He is the Sabbath. He is the rest. And until you find your rest in Jesus Christ, you may not feel the fulfillment that you're looking for, dear friends. Fulfillment is not found in activity. Fulfillment is found in rest. And that is in Jesus Christ. You know, I want to turn your attention to a Bible verse. This is in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. It says, come to me, all you who are weary and are burdened, and I will give you rest. This is the words of Jesus. Jesus says, come to me, all who are weary. We get weary by different things. Even the things that entertain us, we get wearied from, right? We get wearied from all the work that we do. And Jesus says, come to me, all who are weary and are burdened. Even good things in life can burden us. Even good relationships can burden us. Even good work can burden us. And you know what? Our fulfillment is not in work. It is in rest. And the rest is Jesus Christ. And if you do not really know what rest is, rest is not sitting down in a sofa. Rest is not drinking a cold water. It's more than that. It's a person. When you find your fulfillment in God, God is your rest. Jesus Christ is the rest. And he says... Come to me, all who are weary and are burdened, and I will give you rest. And today, dear friends, I want to encourage you with this thought that you find your rest in Jesus Christ. If you today do not have rest in your life, if you're confused with different situations, if you're burdened with your work, if you're, if you're heartbroken in your relationship and you want rest, I want to welcome you to take this thought in the from the bible in matthew chapter 11 verse 28 if you do not have a bible google up google up saying matthew chapter 11 verse 28 it says come to me all who are weary and are burdened and i will give you rest and this thought i want to bring to you today okay this thought is also what we discuss in uh, tuesday evening meet called life lesson study group right so if you're interested to hear more on this, I would encourage you to come on every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. to my place. And if you do not know uh, 
the location you can actually message me and i can give you the location and we meet here to discuss more on how do you find fulfillment in your life how do you find real success real success is not in what we think right real success is found in a special place and that's what we discuss every tuesday evening at 6:30 p.m. so if you're free you can join us and god bless